So the role of a rheumatologist, I think, for any one individual patient is trying to find out not only what's going on and, and how to treat specific problems, but overall goals that people have. I think a rheumatologist's role is not just to be the doctor that helps pinpoint the problem and put a plan in place, but also for each individual person figure out what, what is it about their life that they want to get back into and try to get them there. I often wonder what do rheumatologists not treat because we treat so many different things and we get a lot of different questions. Rheumatologists are sort of the jack of all trades of internal medicine because our illnesses in fact affect all the organ systems in the body. So as far as musculoskeletal disorders, what, what does that mean? So that's basically any, any disorder that involves either the bones, the muscles, the joints, um, the soft tissue around the muscles and joints, the tendons, the bursa. So a lot of people are sent to us with, I have pain and I need to figure out why. You hear arthritis day in and day out. Arthritis just means inflammation or pain and swelling around a joint. But there's actually 90 different types of arthritis. Our main slice of expertise in the world though are these kind of systemic autoimmune diseases. Now those tend to be rarer and those can affect anything from you know blood vessels to kidneys to skin to joints um, to hair and, and one of the things we get a lot of is is mystery. We have been the Sherlock Holmes of medicine and figure out what goes on with these patients when others really don't have an idea because we deal with so many different aspects of medicine. So what people should expect from a rheumatologist is a lot of questions. So we are extremely thorough. You know, we want to hear the story from our perspective from the beginning again, because every doctor listens for different things uh, based on what their expertise is. So we really do do a very thorough history and physical examination. Uh, we're not focused on one joint or one body part or one area. A patient will expect when they meet a rheumatologist that they don't ever want to leave them again. Why? Because rheumatologists, in general, listen to patients. As, as medicine becomes more fragmented and as uh, seemingly you have a specialist for every single organ system in the body, I think communication is absolutely key. We use a variety of tools to diagnose and treat people. X-rays, which we have in the office, ultrasound. And the ultrasound machine is great for looking to see the location of swelling within a joint, um, how swollen it is, if there is any fluid available to drain. They call it um, the rheumatologist stethoscope. We do a lot of lab tests to try to figure out what kinds of antibodies and how much inflammation is in people's system. We also have an array of treatment modalities, working with a physical therapist a massage therapist. And if people need it, sometimes when pills or other medications aren't helpful, getting medication in through a shot or a drip infusion in our infusion center uh, can really be life-changing. Sometimes it's hard for the patient to know who to go to first, but you can't go wrong by going to a rheumatologist first because we think very broadly about these things and try to rule out all different kinds of arthritis.